All right, so we're at property three. Well, actually, we're at all these properties. <laughs> so property one was up there, and then we come over here. We got property two, property three, and then property four. So one of the big advantages of having um, all your houses all together in one, in one spot is that you're able to do a lot of extra work, uh, spend a little more time on certain houses while the other houses are getting done. For example, we're at property number two. We're having a problem with irrigation. So I got the guys at property number uh, three uh, getting it started already while I'm over here on property number two. I'm not sure what we're doing here. So the whole front is getting watered, but we had a problem with the back. So, you know, one of the big things is uh, irrigation. And when you provide a full service, you know, it's good to know a little of everything. But what I ended up doing, I bought this guy a couple years ago. It's the, it's the Model Pro 800D transmitter. And this, I need to turn it off, kill that battery. This, this is my bow locator. So, by using that, I was able to find the problem. So it looks like the solenoids are bad, but you can see all the grass is starting to dry out back here. So, come here. And there are my valves. So we got three valves back here. And and I should have had this marked on my map. But now I know where they're at. I, I have that marked. I knew they were in the backyard. Just didn't know exactly where in the backyard. So by using that, uh, that transmitter, it, it helped locate them. It's what it's called a locator. We call it a locator, which I believe that's what it is, a locator. Um, if I would have had somebody come out here, they would have charged me a lot of money. And then plus right now, things are drying out with the heat. So a lot of irrigation people are like slammed. So, you know, <laughs> for me, a lot of this stuff I have to learn on my own. Kind of like learned it on my own, you know, cause you know, I'm responsible for these properties. So I gotta make sure everything's working. And then when you call, when I have like two irrigation people that I call, and a lot of times they'll jump, you know, when they when they have a chance or they're in an the area, they'll come look at it. Especially, they know I have maps. They know that they come in here, get it working, you know, in and out. They don't have to be locating valves, whatever, or trying to figure out where the brake's at. Because a lot of times I have everything already prepped for them. All they gotta do is go in there, they know what's wrong, and fix it. <laughs> so, but, but even they, you know, even with that, they get busy, so, you know, having the right tools, you know being prepared knowing your properties you know to me that's like one of the main big things and being the maintenance and the law maintenance is know your properties know your clients know your properties um because that would save you a lot of time a lot of money save them a lot of money save you a lot of money um at, but at the same time makes it look good makes you look really good <laughs> when you know their properties you know people people are getting uh, homeowners they get impressed they like Cause I know where all the like their light boxes. I I know a lot of their property, so uh, so they, they get impressed and they, you know they'll pass that on and yeah uh, start building a reputation that way. Well, anyways, guys, I'm gonna keep going. Like I said, I found out. So those are um, so it wasn't no cuts or nothing. I thought maybe the wire was cut, but the wire is not cut. So they're just bad valves. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do instead of changing out the whole valve. And at first, I'm gonna change uh, check the solenoids. See if it's just the solenoids. If it's just the solenoids, then that, that's a cheap fix. If it's uh, valves, then I'm gonna have to replace each valve. And that's, you know, it's a little time consuming, but it's easy. But besides that, all right guys, catch you on the next one. I mean, yeah. All right, so while the guys are still finishing up uh, house number three, I'm gonna go ahead and get started over on house number four. And what we got an issue is that we have a sprinkler here it so this pops up waters this section waters all of this here but on this side this side's not doing that great and that's because we have a rotor over in that corner that 
waters all of this here and goes around and then comes here. So by the time it comes here, it's probably spending about three, four seconds and then it takes off again. So it's not getting enough water. So basically I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add another sprinkler head here by connecting it with that zone so that both sides will get the same amount of water. Cause this is supposed to look like that. See how that's nice and full. So let's see if we can do that over here. That's a 12 inch pop up right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tap into that pipe there. I'm gonna actually replace this, cut the one, a T that off to go over there. Perfecto. Yeah, good one. All right, so this is house number five. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> so this, this is our last service for this homeowner. So might be our last service, not sure. We do the house next door and we do the house on the other side. But we do those on Mondays, the, today is a Tuesday. So the new homeowners, which I already reached out, I gotta give them a, I give them an agreement, and if they go for it, then I'll put this on Monday, so I can do all three houses all together, and then that leave us three, four, five, six, six, seven properties on this on the street here. And Denise homeowners bought another property, which I'm supposed to give them a price on on their new property. So anyway. That's the way we've been working.
wrapping up our sixth property for today. We got one more after this one, and then a rock job. So, trying to keep it right here. So I just passed the trimming on the top. The sides are, are not that bad. Trees, I guess next week we're gonna have to hit the little suckers that are on top. Palm trees are cut. pallets of Mexican beach pebbles and we came out short probably by another 10 12 bags so we got here there over there this one that one and we're short that one but we're gonna call it a day uh, was real productive a lot of a lot of different stuff here part of maintenance and the little business that we do here so thank you for watching if you like share if you're not subscribe subscribe um anyways stay strong stay focused peace out guys